Round one. Fight! Do not cross me. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Jade wins. Flawless victory. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 Augment Build video. And today I'll be going over my Lucky Blows Augment Build for Jade. If you're wondering exactly where to get Lucky Blows, you can get Lucky Blows inside of the new Test Your Luck Towers when you play them on brutal difficulty and if you want a max level aka a level four make sure to play the tower that requires 2500 hearts and you'll drop a level four upon one of the four fight towers after you complete it on brutal difficulty and right before i do get in the video just make sure that like button the subscribe button and all those other great buttons you can press down below as it would severely help me producing these videos every single day for you guys not only that but when you are subscribed and you recommend a video down in the comment section below i am more likely to do a video or at least do your video sooner so it's a win-win scenario and who doesn't like a win-win scenario am i right not only that but it's completely free so let's go ahead and hop right into the aug this augment build the very first two augments i've equipped are what allows us to be able to instantly ko our opponent i have a level three lucky blows and a lucky rabbit's foot so level three lucky blows reads every single time we perform a crushing blow we have a six percent chance to instantly ko our opponent no matter how much health that opponent has left and when you pair that with the lucky rabbit's foot it basically just doubles that chance of getting that uh crushing blow to activate Lucky Blows. If you're wondering exactly how exactly that works, Lucky Blows, similar to Luckality, falls under the category of a positive modifier. And all luck is, is simply your positive modifiers. And since L Lucky Rapso increases your luck, aka your positive modifiers by 100%, it's just going to double Lucky Blows chance. So in this case, it goes from 6 to 12. The next two armors I've equipped are the, going to be what allows us to be able to infinitely perform crushing blows on our opponent. It's going to be pure and simple and smoke and mirrors. So pure and simple makes our crushing blows have no, no requirements and smoke and mirrors makes our crushing blows deal no damage. However, we can perform crushing blows without limits. When you pair these together, you have crushing blows without requirements or limits. You can just do them over and over and over again. But, like, but if you're like, wait, but you said it deals no damage. How is lucky blows going to kill them? And it's simple. Lucky Blows doesn't care about not dealing damage. As long as you perform a crushing blow, it gives Lucky Blows the option to, uh, you know, instantly KO them every single time you perform a crushing blow. The next two arms I have are going to be the defensive part of this build. And this is level 3 armor clad and level 3 super powered. So level 3 armor clad gives us 3 hits of rechargeable armor. If you don't know what rechargeable armor is, basically allows you to be able to tank it without getting hit out of whatever move you're trying to do. It also prevents you from being comboed while you have no your armor activated. Next is going to be a level 3 super powered. So level 3 super powered gives us 1,500 more health. However, we can't really jump and our movement speed is significantly reduced. However, with Jade's arsenal and her crushing blows, they have a ton of range. So you don't need to be really running around a whole lot. Not only that, but Jade is an amazing zoner. Like, she's insane zoner. You don't need to really be running around. In fact, I actually beat quite a bit of test your luck towers and stuff like that with <laughs> with not even lucky blows just with normal damage and everything like that so she's a good character for the jinsi augment size is level four cut and run a level four nitro boost and a level four spark up so i use a level four cut and run as it is extremely way if you do want to get really close to your opponent really fast because you just basically just dash across that screen it's, it's quite funny uh, next is going to be the nitro boost the nitro boost is a move that comes with a crushing blow so the ability to make this thing uh you know have a farther distance is going to be helpful and spark up is simply just to you know mix it up and zone. For the abilities, I use it. I use air razor ring, which I should probably replace it with upward razor ring, uh, pole vault, as well as a dinian spark. For the AA behavior, I use five grappling, ten rush down, twenty combos, ten reversal, and fifteen zoning. So uh, yeah, that's my Arkham build. If you have any recommendations, make sure to leave those down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to respond to you. If I can't, I can guarantee you somebody in the amazing community will. And make sure you hit that notification bell because I am doing a video on how to beat the Tetra Luck Towers with every single character on the roster. I hope I can see you guys in the next one. Peace. Round one. Fight! <laughs> Victory is beyond. Round two. Fight! Finish him! Jade wins! Flawless victory! <laughs> Round one! Fight! Take your time getting up! 
Round two. Fight! <laughs> Finish him. Jade wins. <laughs> Flawless victory. <laughs> Round one. Fight! Jade wins. <laughs> Flawless victory. <laughs>